A recent study by asset management firm Janice Henderson indicated that half of those surveys are very concerned about the 2024 U.S. presidential election. 32% think their party loses, the country is going to plunge into a recession within a year. Now there are plenty of things to worry about these days, but should we worry about how the election will affect our investments? We thought it'd be interesting to see what would happen if one got in or out of the market based on who won the presidency. So we pretended that we correctly predicted the winner of the upcoming election of every election year since 1928 and traded accordingly. When we pretend we are diehard Republicans that think that a Democrat will ruin everything, we stay in cash when a Democrat heads to Pennsylvania Avenue and we remain in cash until a Republican wins, at which point we go all in on U.S. stocks until the next Democrat becomes president, and so on. When we pretend we're diehard or Democrats that think a Republican will ruin everything, we do the exact opposite. In other words, we get in when our party wins and out when our party loses the election. Now, we looked at every election since 1928 and simulated getting in and out based on the election results over the following 28 years. That's a good long time frame. Now, who do you think wins? Market timing Democrats or market timing Republicans? Neither. The best returns actually came from those that did not try to time the market at all, no matter how enthusiastic they were about their party or how much they detested the other party. They simply held on. Now these results, they make perfect sense. As the saying goes, it's time in the markets, not timing the markets. That's the best way to go. This is great news for patient and disciplined investors. It means you don't need to predict short-term market events or read the tea leaves on the election, interest rates, tax rates, the myriad of other factors that influence the markets to be successful. Now come November, remember the words of David Booth, founder of Dimensional Funds. Vote with your ballot, not your life savings. For all the numbers and more on the methodology we used, see the post on our website titled, Why True Investors Don't Worry About Their Portfolios on Election Day. And as always, if you have questions, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you.